Greetings, chaps! Yes, yes we are. We are playing the retro game of retro games, Theme Hospital. Ah, oh, man, this game was released in 1997. I mean, look at that. I can't even calculate how long ago that was. Ah, oh, yes, we're playing this today. Um, a friend of mine and me were sitting and talking and it. he said, oh, you know, it's popped up on GOG, uh, goodoldgames.com. Uh, really cheap, you got to pick it up and do a review on it. So I was like, you know what, why not? I haven't done a really good retro game in ages. I mean, look at this. I mean, look, look at the little tiny little cubes pixelating everywhere. And this guy's hair. I mean, it looks like he's licked a plug socket. <laughs> Why's he looking over his glasses at you? <laughs> you will play this game. You can do this one. Look, look at his arm. Ah! Right, enough for messing around. Let's play a game. Ah, oh, this game was done by uh, Bullfrog, uh, possibly one of my most favourite game developers ever. Um, oh, what's this? Uh, file, this game. Definitely not my first game, no. Uh, low res. Wow. <laughs> I mean, what are we running this on at the moment? Uh, I, I don't even know. Low res. I think we can quite happy. I think we can run it on no. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, did anyone... Uh, before I start, did anyone ever actually get to the center of the board without cheats? Because I know there were cheats for this game back on the PlayStation 1 and PC. Without cheating, because I would love to know like the budget and the setup and everything for the center of the board. It'd be crazy. Uh, anyway, yeah, it was done by Bullfrog, uh, a fantastic game development company that brought you Theme Park and uh, lots of other amazing games back in the 90s. You know, they were the... Uh, let's, the no, not that. Uh, the triarch of their day. Is that a good comparison? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, let's just start. Let's build a hospital. Right. First of all, you did the cheaty thing of turning the speed down to slower. So it gave you plenty of time to build it and it didn't just open the hospital when, you know, you ran out of time. First of all, we need a GP's office, which is where people go and get diagnosed and get told what's wrong with them. Um, it often popped up with uh, sayings like, uh, oh, your staff members need windows in their office. And, like, you know, fair enough if you're looking outside and you've got blinds and whatnot. But, you know, some people get naked in these things. You know, I mean, who wants the public looking in on them when they're getting their, like, you know, their prostate checked or something? I mean, that, that doesn't happen in this game. I should say that right now. No one, <laughs> the doctor doesn't whip out a rubber glove and go, <laughs> bend over, Mr. Jenkins. You know, uh, <laughs> It's a bit more tasteful than that. Okay, uh, another GP's office, because I like to be good at processing patients, because I know what it's like to wait in uh, an NHS uh, waiting room. Nothing wrong with the NHS. Love the NHS. Um, Got to keep the NHS and all that. But uh, I do know what it's like to be in a queue when you're in, in insurmountable amounts of pain and screaming on the floor. Okay, uh, let's hire some staff. Let's, I love this bit. I mean, look at these pictures. I mean, it, it does look like sort of uh, Leonard from the Big Bang Theory in like 20 years from now. Uh, like stage diving, rash and easily distracted. Do I really want him working in my hospital? Probably not. Uh, listens to rave and trip. No, no, I'm not into ravers. Makes ice cream, ice cream sculptures. An ice cream sculpture, that'd be amazing. Ice sculptures. Loyal and friendly. Hired. Uh... Need gonna need a probably about three doctors. Bates tourists in museums. What kind of sport is that? I bait tourists in museums. Deaf as a post smells faintly of cabbage. Okay, now I don't really want to put off the other stuff. Goes motorcycle riding, loyal and friendly. And he's a psychologist. That's what that ink blot thing means in that book. So we'll keep him. Psychologist, psychiatrist, one of those two. Uh, okay. Uh, we always need a pharmacy to dispense drugs. It's probably a very big pharmacy, considering it's just a cabinet. Uh, let's put some windows on so people can see what pills you're taking. Duh. Got to keep the drugs warm, so we'll put a radiator there. We'll put the plant over there away from the radiator so it doesn't die. Uh, oh, we'll need a nurse to dispense drugs. Uh, plays classical violin and cello, remarkably polite. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. I could do have a classical violinist and celloist. Uh, oh, we need to hire uh, handymen. 
Heckles poor comedians, very friendly. Wow, it sounds like one of the people that comments on my channel. You know what, if you even watch my channel, you can, uh, you're hired. <laughs> I'll give you a job on that merit. Uh, plays theme park. Ah, oh, she plays theme park. I mean, hired. She's a receptionist. She sort of sees people when they come in and goes, sit over there. I'm not dealing with you at the moment. I'm doing my nails. Uh, got to get a drinks machine. The only, when I put the, the drinks machine is a Kit Kat machine. It's, I think it was possibly the only game that had advertising for chocolate in it. Uh, well done, Nestle, for getting in there. Nestle? 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 Who knows? Okay, uh, let's, let's make a little seating area. This is where all the patients wait to be sort of seen and the doctor just to scrutinise their diet and their behaviour and anything else that can possibly go wrong with them. Um, yeah, there's a little Kit Kat machine there. We'll have a receptionist. A bit like sort of professional there. Keep her warm. Uh, right, what else have we got? General diagnosis. This is the sort of more in-depth diagnosis room. It needs to be a bit bigger because it's... Uh... Uh, there we go. That's the one I want. No! Oh, oh for God's sake. This is where they, it's the actual first bit of sort of machinery you get, and the real only use for a fire extinguisher at this stage, because it can explode. Uh, da, 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 radiator, plant, bin, yeah, why not? Da, 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 fire extinguisher by the door, because we are health and safety. Radiator, plant, bin. Uh, let's hire another doctor for that one, why not? Uh... No, not Mr. Bates Tourist. An expert in DIY, wood and abrasive, no. Tickles Trout. Oh my god. <laughs> Who are these people? How on earth did they pass their exams? <laughs> Smuggles fake watches. Rearranges furniture. Very fast and diligent. Yes! Yes, patients are reminded not to die in the corridors because it makes me look bad. Uh, psychiatric. Um... You need a relative, if our memory serves, you need to have quite a big room for the psychiatric room, room, person. Because there's like a lot to go in there. Plus I like to have a big psych room. I, I like to think that I care a lot about the uh, people with mental health, or lack of mental health, I should say. They're in. Two radiators, plant. Pretty sure nothing's going to catch fire in there. I'm pretty sure the bookcase or skeleton won't catch fire. One would hope. Uh, this one always confused me. When you're seeing a psychiatrist, when have they ever asked you to get undressed? It's always sort of confused me as when I was little. Like, why why would you need to get naked for the psychiatrist? Uh, I don't know. I, I know you get, like, the, the the Elvis personalities coming in. And you got to, they've got to get changed somewhere, of course. I'm going to put a skeleton in the middle of the room to scare the patients. And I'll put the chair there. Tell me about your mother. Um, <laughs> my Freud impression there. Terrible. Um, yeah, but why, Why? you know, has anyone ever gone to a psychiatrist and they go, oh, yeah, you know, I've, I've been having these really bad flashbacks, you know. Uh, oh, what should I do? Oh, please come in, sir. You know, no, take your clothes off behind the curtain and sit down on the sofa. What? <laughs> oh, uh, ooh, I've kind of a staff room, yeah, I've got to have like the most important room that you spend the most amount of money and time designing. you got to have toilets! Because if you don't have toilets, you know what, I've never actually experimented with not having toilets in, <laughs> in theme hospital. I can only imagine it wouldn't go very well. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, and... One, two, three, four. These toilets crack me up as well. I mean, there's like a saloon door for, um, you know, they'd still see the top of you. They'd still be able to go, oh, you all right, Frank? What are you up to? Oh, I'm just taking a dump. Ah, oh, cool. Carry on. Uh, I mean, look, I mean, what, what kind of privacy is that going to give? Oy. Um, no, we don't need to hire any more people just yet. We need to build more stuff. Uh, oh, we need a ward. Um... 
this is the sort of overnight sort of place where people would go when they're ill, as wards are. Uh, I always, always, always overbought beds on this. I always had one bed spare. Um, so we'll see after almost a decade of not playing this game if that is still the case. Uh, I'm pretty sure nothing catches fire in the ward. Uh, plants, bin. I'd, I'm going to say five, five beds in total. I reckon I can get five beds. In. No, that's a bit brave, I reckon. Oh, no, 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 no. We might be able to get away with this. Yay! For the first time ever. We managed to... You can all have a plant in the middle of the room because I can't afford a TV, so you can all watch the plant grow. I can actually fit five beds. I bought the right amount of beds straight away. Uh, okay, I'm going to need another nurse for there. Drinks wine dedicated to helping people with a smile. An alcoholic nurse, always good. Raffia. What the hell's raffia work? That's getting Googled after this. Uh, remarkably polite and gen genial mannered. Okay. Build a staff room to rest your employees. Yes, I will. Uh, facilities. Staff room. Uh, we'll put it next to the ward. Uh, I like to think that I, if I was ever an employer or runner of a business, God forbid, that... Uh, there we go. I can have windows so people can look at the staff members relaxing. I'd be a good enough boss to provide a damn good staff room for my staff. <clears throat> Um, so far, pool table, TV, pool table in the corner, so you can't take certain shots because I'm that evil. I don't know why I picked in the fire. Oh yeah, because the TV can... can the TV catch fire? I don't know. We shall have to find out. I think, I think we're ready to open. Got three doctors, staff room, check, drugs dispenser, check. Okay, let's go! And now that we're all ready to go, we can. Where is it? Game speed. Normal. Max speed! Type faster, man! Faster! You haven't even had a patient yet! He's clearly, clearly just playing like Happy Wheels or something. <gasps> okay. Oh, probably should put some more chairs out, actually. Uh, radiator. Oh, okay. Oh, I love that. If you can hit... I don't know if I've got the tannoy volume turned up properly. But she sort of... There's a lady on the tannoy system who says, Patience, have your credit cards ready. That, my friends, is the future of the NHS, or lack of NHS, if, uh... No, I'm not getting political, there's no point. No point at all. This is a gaming channel, not a politics channel. If you want a politics channel, go watch Russell Brand scream about stuff. Uh, I need more benches outside the ward, just in case. And outside the staff room. We had a put Ah, oh, cool. Ah, oh, ooh. That's why I haven't built. Ah, uh, I haven't built uh, an inflation room. Uh, sorry, mate. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm building it. I'm building it. Bear with. Third uh, windows so everyone can see all the gory details. Definitely need a fire extinguisher in this one because it can actually blow up. Okay, oh, why did I put... I'm sure it won't matter. Okay, this guy, he's got an inflated head. Um, and this machine, it actually used to freak me out a little bit when I was little, when I was playing this game. Like, just watch what this doctor does to him. In you come, sir, I've been waiting. Oh, hello, my head really hurts, it's really swollen. Oh, what should I do? Ah! Rips his face off after popping it. Pumps his head back up. Jobs are given. <laughs> Just brutal. And he's happy about it. Crazy. Uh, oh, you need to hire more handy men, I remember now. Uh, Argent, ardent train wrecker? No, probably not a good idea. Worships daytime television. Incredibly talented neighbor. 
Fernando de Ghana is a perfectionist who just doesn't give up. Follows every, every perfectionist. Ah, oh, these. You get faxes sometimes where they like, they don't know what to do with the patient. Like, uh, we don't know what to do, but there's a good chance this drug might work. So we're going to wait because I don't really want to take a chance. He's got, it's basically this guy here. He's got invisibility syndrome. Um, and you, it's a 50-50 chance whether you give him the right drug or not. If you give him the wrong drug, he dies and it just looks really bad on your hospital. So I try to get through the day without, any, without you know, as in every day, I try to get through every day without any fatalities. <laughs> Okay. Oh, another for invisibility guy. But I have no other way of diagnosing you, I'm afraid. I've got no other diagnosis rooms. Inflation. Nope, sorry. Uh, we have exhausted our donors machines on this patient and we still have not sure it's wrong. Oh, go on then. Hey, he signed the paperwork. If he agrees to it, it's his own fault. Okay, your team has discovered a new condition. It is the squits! Cause eating pizza found under the cooker. Oh man, why? Symptoms, uh, surely you can guess. Cure, uh, gluttonous, blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, will he live? Live! Live! Come on! Yes! $1,400 for a cure. $1,400, that's... 750 odd pounds I think maybe I'm gonna go with that yes that's crazy I wonder how much paracetamol cost oh so we discovered your team has discovered a new condition it's heaped piles caused standing around by water coolers <laughs> symptoms patients feel like he she is sitting on a bag of marbles ow Cure another six patients and you killed enough to win the level. Yeah! Oh, is that another one? I thought we had the cure for invisibility. Oh, go on then. Go on. You can live. You will live. She's in there. Go on. Don't be scared. Go on. In you go. She's got the cure for you, I hope. Either way, you're paying for it. If you die, you pay for it. If you live, you've paid for it. It's all good. I'm that kind of hospital manager. <laughs> oh, no. He makes it to the outside of the door and croaks it. <gasps> Luckily, I don't have to clean up the body, though. That, that's pretty good. Lawrence Nightingale has expressed a wish to visit your hospital. Any relation? Go on, then. Your team has discovered a new condition. It is the uncommon cold. Basically, swine flu, bird flu, Ebola, whatever you want to call it. Cause small particles of snot in the air. Nice. Uh, lovely. Oh, it's another invisibility guy. You think we would have got the cure right by now? Man, I spent so many hours on this game. This and theme park, uh, I spent a lot of my childhood on. Just building like the best parks or best hospitals, really. Although I don't think I was very good at theme hospital. I just enjoyed the silliness of it. Uh, I'm going to send you home. I'm not taking the chance on another patient dying. Sorry, mate. Oh! I'm fed up. Pay me a decent wage. I reckon a raise of 18 should do it. Do the trick. Yeah, go on then. I'm actually not that fussed at this stage. Normally I would sack you, but I really, I'm not that fussed about looking for a replacement. This is the quietest hospital ever. Oi! Did you look you little bastard? Look, banana skin. Quick, there's a VIP coming. Clean up the banana skin. Good man. Where's the VIP? There he is. It's the Monopoly guy. He's taking his sweet ass time. He's got really waxy shoes, isn't he? Look. 
I mean, he's not getting much tread out of those. Uh, 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 almost there. Uh, uh, really shouldn't have put WD-40 on my shoes today. <laughs> oh, what else have we got here? Display. Oh, what is... I'm guessing that's Mega Low Res. Should we have a... Let's have a look at Mega Low Res. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. This is like a game you would have got on a Nokia 3210 graphics. Oh, this is amazing. I wish they'd make a uh, theme hospital ready available for phones. I, I'd, I'd, I probably wouldn't get any work done. Uh, oh, that's enough of that. That's, that was really silly. Back to relatively decent graphics. <sighs> just chilling. How you doing, Frank? I'm alright. I just farted. Oh, dude, no way. I can't go over there. I wanted to play pool. He never lets me play pool. Shut up. I must admit, this was a big part of Theme Hospital, was waiting for you to cure enough patients. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rank up the speed again to and then some more. And just watch everyone run around as if they're on speed. Even, like, the Monopoly guys running around really fast. It's a Simpsons character running around. Simpsons-itis. Is that actually it? Or has he got one of the... Has he got the squits, is he? I don't want to be a Simpsons character. Oh, no, no, he's still... He's actually meant to look like that. Sorry! Uh... Telegram, after visiting your hospital, Lawrence Nightingale remarked, What a well-run hospital! Thanks for inviting me to it! You have been awarded cash grant of 1,200. Don't know what currency, but yeah, it could be yen. Brilliant. Uh, da -da -da. And what's this? Ooh, I'm sending you home, mate. Sorry. Oh, man, is that guy complaining about his money? Uh, it might be a different guy. You know, I'm so close to winning the level. It's cool. I'll pay you. The next doctor can take care of it. We've also... Uh, no, you can go home. I'm not taking any chances on you. Sorry, mate. You're just going to have to learn to live with invisibility. Never actually seen anyone use a Kit Kat machine yet. Maybe they just sell Kit Kats. And I mean, this is like 1994 when this is before Kit Kat Chunky or like the peanut butter one or the mint or all those other bloody ones that they had. It was just the four sticks. Uh, okay, cool. Looks like we're about to finish the level. Hey! Dear Phil, congratulations. We at the Ministry are very impressed by your hospital running abilities. You are certainly a golden boy in the health department. We think you'd prefer a slightly tougher job, though. You'd be paid a salary of numbers, but the decision is up to you. Are you interested in working at Sleepy Hollow Hospital? Sleepy Hollow Hospital. That's got a really, really good ring to it, hasn't it? Yeah, go on then. Yay! Next place. Oh, uh, brilliant. I will get to the centre one day. One day. May not be on here, but one day. Uh, I'm going to finish up there, chaps. Uh, if you want to see me play more of Theme Hospital, please do say, and I'll play some more. But if not, if nobody says anything, I'll just leave it there and assume that everyone's fed up of this retro game, except for me, which is kind of sad. Uh, hit a like, hit a subscribe. I uh, hope you're all well. Take care, and look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.